Hey guys, I'm back with another action figure review and we're going to take a look at the DC Direct Secret Files Black Mask. Um, if you watched my New Year's haul video, you know I just picked this guy up um, as a broken figure for a little over two dollars. Um, so I wanted to review him because I was so excited I was able to fix his arm. Um, it is as good as new. Has all the articulation, etc. So yeah, I was just really excited and wanted to do this review first um, out of all my haul. So uh, yeah, so this guy was released in August of 2005 in the um, Secret Files series. Um, it's Batman's Rogues Gallery. It was series one of the Secret Files. Um, he was released with four other villains, Batman villains. And I'm just going to show you the packaging. Um, I don't have the entire packaging as it was a broken figure, so you can see Black Mask Broken Arm, $3, it was 30% off. Um, so I have just the inside, it's Secret Files, um, Action Figures, Black Mask, and then you can see the side. Um, so the rest of the wave was Killer Croc, Black Mask, The Penguin, Mr. Freeze, and Man Bat. And so I don't, I don't have the back of the packaging, um, that was missing when I bought it, so I can't show you anything else from the packaging, but... Yeah, so um, when these figures were re originally released, they were about uh, $12 to $15 a piece. And this guy actually goes for like $50 now on eBay or Amazon, usually new in the package. So I'm really excited I was able to get him so cheap um, because he's actually a really nice figure. I didn't even know he existed and found him in the broken po toys file. And yeah, so he's really nice. Um, I'm going to show you some close-up shots. The sculpt is beautiful. Uh, I mean, well, you know, beautiful is a relative term for a villain like this. But, uh, yeah, you can see the details in the head sculpt are phenomenal. And the body, um, the, the white shirt is sculpted to, you know, cling to his body. And this tie is a sort of separate piece, as you can see. Um, and you don't really see as much on the front, how it clings to his body, but on the back. You see the rib cage here? Really incredible sculpting. I, I just, I love the details on DC Direct figures. Um, you know, the hands look really good. The gloves are really well sculpted, and the fingers are just so detailed. Everything is so nice on this figure. Um, the pant legs... Very nice. Um, he is sculpted to stand this sort of, um, like, his, his legs are, are, this is, this is him without his knees bent. So his, his, both of his knees are slightly bent, his left being more bent, so he's always in this sort of, like, not a, uh, I don't know what you call that, but, you know, sort of like a creeping pose, <laughs> um, which is fitting for the character. Um... I'm just going to show you his accessories that he comes with. He comes with three accessories. Uh, first is this helmet. Um, so it has, you know, this, it's like a silver paint that's supposed to represent a light. And it goes around to a little battery pack. Really nice detail. And this does go onto his head. So you can pop that right on. Now he's wearing a helmet. And he also has a drill, which, again, really great detail on this, and a hacksaw. Now, these do go into his hands, and the funny thing here is that each of his hands is sculpted a certain way. Right hand with this sort of, you know, pointer finger out and the rest of the finger closed, and then the left hand has this, like, open slightly open sort of pose and so it's weird the drill fits into both hands pretty well and so this is the left hand with the drill you know it's kind of just like an open pose it's like he's just holding it and then it actually also fits in this right hand if you kind of squish it in there um and in this case it looks like he's you know he's gonna press down on the, the drill and he's gonna use the drill 
Um, so I kind of like it in the right hand. The issue then being that the skull, if you want him to hold both accessories, the saw has to go in the left hand. Which, okay, so it's, it's, you know, it's holding it, but it falls right out. Now if you put the saw in the right hand, it holds it in there, and it doesn't fall out. But it's just a little weird to me, because why would he hold a saw like that? Why would anybody hold a saw with their finger, like, sticking out like that? But, you know... You can have him just display one accessory. If you're going to have him display the drill, you can put it in either hand. And I personally would put it in the right hand. Um, if you want him to hold both, you're going to probably have to put the saw in the right hand and the drill in the left. Um, but yeah, all really nice accessories. And um, I was lucky to get them with the broken figure. So I was really happy about that. Um, and let me just show you some articulation while I've got them. Um, the head... You know, it goes all the way around. Um, you know, a little bit down, a little bit up, not too, not too much. Um, the arms go in and out and around. That's the broken one. <laughs> I was really excited to be able to fix it. So, yep. Um, elbow is, you know, single joint. Very little bit of movement. The wrists have swivel. Both. Have a swivel. Um, no ab or waist articulation is pretty standard DC direct, um, but the legs move forward and back, no in and out, um, and the knees bend. No ankle articulation. But overall, you know, that's pretty good. And the, and you know, as I've said before, the DC direct figures just make up their lack of dic uh, articulation in the, the sculpting. It's always so good the DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. So, yeah, he's, I, I really like this figure. I'm, I'm so glad we found him um, just kind of last minute at the checkout. Um, and I'll definitely be checking out my broken toys section at my local comic shop more often because you never know what you're going to find. Um, so, yeah, really great figure. Um, love the detail in that bag. <laughs> I, just, I just love it. Um, so, yeah, he's a nice addition to the collection. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be doing some more today, so keep a lookout. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks, guys.